Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Khan Academy practice module on unit circle. Let's see what we can work on. For each point on the unit circle, select the angle that corresponds to it. Click each dot on the image to select an answer. Hmm. All right, so boom. All right, so what angle is this? 45 degrees. All right, so this is a 90 degree angle. About the halfway mark there is 45. Here, um, this is 180 degrees plus 45 degrees is 225. And this is 45 degrees before a full rotation, right? This is 360 degrees. Go back 45 degrees and you get angle C. So that's 315. Yay, we got it. Next one. What is the value of the Y coordinate of point A? All right, so let's grab this one and let's talk about it. So we're trying to find the location of point A. And perhaps the easiest way to do that is to first think, okay, I can drop this perpendicular here. This gives me the little right triangle. I've got a 30 degree angle. I've got a 90 degree angle. So what's this angle here? Well, it's got to have to 180, so it's 60. I've got a 30, 60, it's a 60, 30, 60, 90 triangle. This is one, it's the radius of the circle. This is, would be um, negative one half. It, you say one half of the triangle was negative one half on the coordinate plane because of the negative direction. And this is radical three over two. So this is properties of a special triangle, right? This side, this leg right here is the shorter leg times radical three, so a half times radical three. And um, I didn't use negative one half here because I know this direction is a positive direction. So now I've got these sides. And this length that I want to refer to is the opposite of the angle. And it needs to equal this value, right? So it has to be the sine, because the sine is of 30 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is 1. You take that opposite divided by 1, nothing happens to it. So this location of this point, the x value is the cosine of an angle and this and the y value is the sine of an angle. But what angle do we pick? Well it's actually not 30. It's 30 degrees in this triangle, but this triangle is really modeling right this angle right here, which is 330. The angle 330 and this reference angle end up at the same terminal point. So the definitions of sine and cosine check out and they're equivalent. The cosine of 330 we're bring to this point and the sine of 30 330 we're bring to this point. Now, you might say, well, what? That doesn't make any sense. Well, think about it this way. If you took the sine of 30 degrees, that would have to bring you over here, right? Badly drawn to this point. Let's call it B. That would make more sense, right? This is a 30 degree angle. And the cosine of 30 would bring you to this point. So this is the cosine of 30 and the sine of 30. If that's not clear, let me know. I can help out. Um, there's a lot of background behind what I'm explaining here. It's just a really quick, rushed way of showing it. And you can see here, I, I was inclined to pick the sine of 30 first, but it's the sine of 330, right? Let's keep going. Points A, B, and C are plotted on the unit circle, okay? Which of the coordinates is equal to the cosine of 180? Well, here's 180 degrees, and um, C, that point right there has an x value of the cosine of 180, the x value of any point on the term on the unit circle is the cosine of the angle that has a terminal side that crosses that point. In other words, uh, here's 180 degrees and ends here, right? There's a terminal point on the circle at that ending side, and the x value of that point is always going to be the cosine of the angle. So, the, so the answer is the cosine of 180 is the x of c. The y coordinates all correspond to the sine values. Got it. Points A, B, and C are plotted on the circle below. Which of the coordinates is equal to the sine of 310? So in other words, which of these angles, ha which if you had an angle of 310, so here's about here, angle C, right? The Y value of that point would be the sine of 310. The X value would be the cosine of 310. So uh, and that's the only point here that corresponds to a 310 degree angle. So it's the y coordinate of point C. Yay. 
All right, hope that helped.